the solar project was something that I remember my dad came to me and goes, we're going to spend $1.7 million and you're going to have to find a way to pay for it. I'm like, excuse me? <laughs> we're here at Motor Cars Honda, which has 30 tons of solar panels on a beautiful canopy, probably one of the most aesthetic solar canopies in the United States. What is this? This is a solar radiation map made by NREL. This says how much solar energy reaches any given square meter in the state of Ohio throughout a day. This makes no sense unless you can compare it to something else. So here's all of the United States. I'm the new director of sustainability for Cuyahoga County. It's a new department. We think creating and helping to generate more clean energy in the county is something that is part and parcel of what local government should be doing. We can't keep generating electricity uh, the old-fashioned ways by burning carbon, or by burning coal. And so I really want to congratulate you for all being here and I want to congratulate Motor Cars and the Giles family for stepping forward and taking themselves off the grid in a sense and becoming carbon neutral. That, that is fantastic. Plus, the PR is not bad. Right? This is a Cleveland.com article about this solar array right out here. Mike Stevens, I interviewed him, he told me, nothing shouts, we're green louder than a solar carport. And it's true. I mean, it's a, very, it's a very visible array. You can see those solar panels from the road. It's in such a prominent place. We wanted to create something that was elegantly beautiful that also served the function for the solar panels. This structure is going to become a real landmark and a real shot in the arm for industry in general in the region, if not the country. A couple interesting facts about that very dark red area. If you were to build a solar array that is 40 by 40 square miles, you could power all of the United States with solar. Probably not going to happen due to transmission issues involved in that, but it's cool to think about. And in fact, there is nothing similar to this really on a car dealership in America, particularly one here in the northeastern states. This is built specifically to help shield the inventory and protect it and eliminate thousands and thousands of dollars in routine maintenance, snow shoveling, snow and ice removal. Because of the curved design, based on our calculations, is only going to leave approximately 5% of the total annual production as if we had it completely optimized for solar. That 5% is more than being made up with the added benefits of the structure. When you look at it, how much money you're making on saving on your energy bill, or it's a good thing to do, put it in different areas on how you can measure it. This is gonna to equate to, uh, this month, over 500 trees that'll be saved based off of the, the carbon that's not released in the environment. Congratulations. Thank you, Bill. We really don't do any paper, television, or radio. We do more community involvement, grassroots marketing, and taking our budget to do things like the, the solar panel. The Ohio Business of the Year, obviously through Green Energy of Ohio, uh, we're very excited about that, and it's something that we're in the process of working to have a presidential candidate come out and do our official unveiling sometime in the next three to four months. Leading the way in the uh, commercial solar revolution. You know, Walmart, if solar didn't make economic sense, they would not be installing it on their roof. And I thought, if every business started thinking about, we have to do our share, we have to do something for the long range, for the kids of the future. Matter of fact, we're so excited about now, we're looking to do a project at our Toyota store across the street that'll produce 100% of the energy for the Toyota building and the body shop building, and we'll be able to sell some you know, back to the people who live behind it. And this is one of the greenest, if not the greenest, Honda dealerships out of 1,200 in the United States of America. It's important that people understand the price has really declined in the last four or five years. This is what the uh, big solar array in the desert might look like. This is actually a 550 megawatt solar array developed by First Solar called the Topaz Project. It can power 160,000 homes. There'll probably be a day in the future where we'll see these all over the landscape and they won't be as unique as they are now. Our hope is that solar will become more and more accepted. It'll become a kind of a conventional form of energy instead of an alternative form of energy.